Hi everyone, in today's video we will see how to fix Google Fi calling not working. Fix 1. Check device compatibility. Your device must meet these requirements. Android phone or tablet. Run Android 7.0 and up. Have LTE bands 2 and 4 and support Volt. iPhone and iPad. Run iOS 13 and up. Google Fi only supports eSIM on iPhone 14 and 15. Fix 2. Use default phone app. Make sure you are using the default phone app that come on your phone for making calls. Other phone apps are for dialing aren't supported by the Google Fi. Fix 3. Check Wi-Fi calling status in the Google Fi app. For Android device, open the Google Fi app, scroll down and tap on Wi-Fi calling. Turn on the Wi-Fi calling features. For iPhone or iPad, open the settings app, then tap on cellular, then Wi-Fi calling. Make sure Wi-Fi calling is turned on. Open the Google Fi app on your iPhone or iPad. Under the phone settings in the home tab, tap on Wi-Fi calling. Ensure that Wi-Fi calling is turned on. Fix 4. Check number transfer status. If your number transfer is ongoing, you will be unable to make calls until the transfer is complete and your number is activated. Check transfer progress. Open the Google Fi app on your phone to verify the status of your number transfer. Notification for ongoing transfer. If the transfer is still in progress, a notification will appear at the top of the screen in the Google Fi app. Fix 5. Check your dial number. To call a number in the country you are visiting, follow these steps. Dial the area code followed by the local number. To call another country, follow these steps. Tap and hold 0 until you see plus sign on the display. Dial the country code followed by the area code and then the local number. For example, if you are dialing a number in the UK from Japan, dial plus 44. If the above number format doesn't work, you can also try using the exist code of the country you are visiting. Use exit code, destination, country code, area code, then local number to make the call. Fix 6. Turn aeroplane mode on then off. For Android, swipe down from the notification area twice or swipe down once with two fingers to reveal the quick settings totals. Tap the aeroplane mode icon to enable or disable it. For iOS, swipe up the bottom of any screen and tap on off the aeroplane icon in the upper left corner. Fix 7. Check your settings. Ensure that the cellular data is turned on in your phone's settings. For Android, open the settings, then network and internet, then mobile data. Enable the mobile data for the selected SIM card. For iOS, open the settings, then cellular, then cellular data. Total the switch next to the mobile data. Fix 8. Check your Google Fi coverage. Google Fi only works on LTE slash 4G or 5G coverage. Check for the coverage in your area. Go to the Google Fi official website and check the coverage map. Input your location and check the and click on check coverage button. Set LTS preferred network type in your phone. For iOS launch settings then general then about then carrier then select LTE. For Android open the settings app, select internet and settings, mobile data, choose your SIM. Network network mode LTE slash 4G. Fix 9. Reset the network settings. For iOS, open the settings app, then general, then scroll down and tap on reset. Tap on reset network settings. You may need to enter your device passcode or Apple ID password to proceed. Confirm the action by tapping reset network settings again in the confirm prompt. Your device will reset automatically and network settings will be reset to their default configurations. For Android, open the settings app, then network and internet, scroll down and tap on the reset or system, tap on reset network settings or reset Wi-Fi. Review the information about what will be reset, then tap on reset settings or reset network settings. Confirm the action by tapping reset settings, your device will restart automatically and network settings will be reset to their default configurations. Fix 10. Take out and reinsert a SIM card. Turn off your phone, locate a small hole on your phone for the SIM card ejection tool. 
इंसर्ट द इजेक्शन टूल दैट कम्स विद योर फोन और सिम कार्ड फ्रीमली बट जेंटली पुश अंटेल द ट्रे पॉप्स आउट रिमूव द सेम एंड री इंसर्ट द सेम जेंटली पुश द ट्रे बैक इन टू द फोन स्लोट टर्न योर फोन बैक ऑन फिक्स इलेवन रिस्टार्ट योर डिवाइस रिस्टार्टिंग योर डिवाइस कैन हेल्प रिजोल्व वेरियस इशूज सच एज लो परफॉर्मेंस एप क्रैशेज एंड नेटवर्क कनेक्टिविटी प्रॉब्लम्स स्लाइड द पावर ऑफ स्लाइडर टू द राइट टू टर्न ऑफ योर डिवाइस आई ओ एस स्लाइड द पावर ऑफ स्लाइडर टू द राइट टू टर्न ऑफ योर डिवाइस वेट फॉर अ फ्यू सेकेंड दैन प्रेस एंड होल्ड द साइड बटन अंटिल यू सी द एपल लोगो एंड्रॉयड प्रेस एंड होल्ड द पावर बटन अंटिल यू सी द पावर ऑप्शन मेन्यू टैप रिस्टार्ट और रिबूट कन्फर्म द रिस्टार्ट बाय टैपिंग ओके और रिस्टार्ट फिक्स ट्वेल्व चेक द बाईपास वी पी एन सेटिंग्स इन गूगल वन टू अलाउ एप्स बाय टू बाईपास वी पी एन इन गूगल वन ओपन द गूगल वन ऐप ऑन योर डिवाइस टैप बेनिफिट एट द टॉप ऑफ द स्क्रीन फाइंड वी पी एन बेनिफिट एंड टैप व्यू डिटेल्स टैप व्यू सेटिंग्स एंड देन अलाउ एप्स टू बाईपास वी पी एन सेलेक्ट द एप यू वॉन्ट टू बाईपास एंड टैप एड टू रिमूव एन एप फ्रॉम द बाईपास लिस्ट टैप रिमूव Tap Save at the top of the restart the VPN by Google One. Fix thirteen. Replace the SIM. If issue persists, there might be physical damage in the SIM, and you have to replace the SIM. You can buy a new Google Wi-Fi SIM kit from the certain retailer or place an order online. Sign in to the Google Wi-Fi website on your device. If you don't have an account, use Gmail to open a new account. Order a SIM card if you can't find the option. Try open an incognito tab and sign in again. On the review page, enter the payment and shipping information. Choose your shipping method: ground shipping, two day and one or next day deliveries. Finally, shipping price and plus taxes are based on the address and will be charged to the selected form of payment. After completing the checkout, you will receive a confirmation email. When the order ships you will receive a separate shipping confirmation email with tracking information thank you for watching like this video and subscribe to our channel